Hi guys, so welcome to part two in this uh, little series of three power test videos. As I said in my previous video, I get asked a lot to power test some of these uh, cheap Chinese radios, especially the Bofengs. Um, I think the reason for that is because the quality control is so um, so erratic on some of these radios. Um, people wonder um, whether they, they do what they say on the tin. Um, most of the UV5R family of radios all have an output power of 5 watts, um, supposedly. Now, I've had some that measure 3 watts on high power and some that measure close to 7 or 8 watts on uh, on high power when it's advertised at 5. So it just shows you um, some of the differences in um, the uh, power outputs of these radios. Now, for anyone buying one of these, um, you know, a watt or two here and there, um, handheld to handheld is going to make no difference whatsoever um, towards the uh, the range of this. Um, you know the the uh, the the range depends on the surroundings, whether it's a built-up area, whether there's obstacles or buildings in between, um, atmosphere, weather, all sorts of things. And um, you know, a, a couple of watts is going to make absolutely no difference whatsoever. <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me, that's that's one thing to bear in mind. So anyway, we've got the uh, got the radio here plugged into the GY five six one power meter with a dint in the screen, which is annoying, um, but it's quite an accurate piece of kit. I've compared it to um a more expensive one that a friend had and there's very uh, very little to no difference in the uh, in the readings from this uh, this meter anyway so we've got um we've got um a vhf frequency and a uhf frequency for 2 and 70 so we'll key up on each one and um and see what what um what power output is uh, shown on the meter so I'll switch this on <clears throat> so 145525 it's 5.5 watts which is about average and 433525 4.4 watts um again which is which is about average so yeah it's uh this this uh, this little bow thing sort of does what it says on the tin there around 5 watts on VHF and UHF i'm not going to test the low power setting because there's not really any point um, i don't know why anyone would use a low power setting anyway um so uh, so yeah so there we go that's uh, that's the Bofeng UV5RE plus um power test so thanks for watching, um, stay tuned for part three, um, the final part, it's going to be the UV82, the Bofeng UV82. So yeah, cheers guys, thanks for watching, 7-3 for now.